Well, the storm just continues to intensify. The Hurricane Hunter plane flying in the system. We actually have two planes flying out there right now, and they have now found the winds have increased once again up to 90 miles an hour. So remember the original forecast at the top of the hour, we were looking at winds at landfall 85 to 90 miles an hour. Well, we're already at that point. So that obviously means the forecast has to be adjusted. Uh, winds uh, are 90, moving to the west-northwest at 7 miles an hour. You can see all that deep, deep convection surrounding the center. So now you're looking at, looks like at this point, potentially category two. Who knows, maybe even a little bit stronger than that. Uh, winds of 105 miles an hour working its way on shore. And now we have that seven to 11 foot storm surge. We have the heavy rainfall. Notice how slowly it'll be moving as it makes that turn and creeping towards the coastline. So on top of everything else, that uh, 100, over 100 mile an hour wind, we've got eight to 16 inches of rain. And then we have that storm surge, seven to 11 feet. With that storm surge, it just doesn't allow any of that rain to drain off as well. So huge amounts of flooding with this life-threatening storm surge moving on shore as well. There's the rainfall right along the coastline as it slows down. That's why you're gonna see so much rain right along the immediate coastline. And then uh, still a lot of uh, mounts anywhere from three to eight, up to 10 inches of rain across central Alabama, but lesser amounts as you move away from that landfall and it starts to regain a little bit of that forward speed. So we have Hurricane Sally now, Hurricane Paulette. We have Renee. We also have Tropical Storm Teddy and Tropical Storm Vicky. So we have two hurricanes, two tropical storms, and a tropical depression, five named systems in the Atlantic Basin, which includes the Gulf of Mexico currently. You talk about a busy season, that is the definition of a busy season. Now, Hurricane Paulette moved over Bermuda early this morning, winds of 90 miles an hour. For a time this morning, the center the eye was completely over the top of Bermuda. They were inside the eye of the storm. Now they're on the backside of this storm, but it is pulling away. So they still have to deal with some more of that over the next several hours. Now, Sky Tower radar.